Welcome back to The Reality Check. My name is Josh Spoon. I'm one of the co-hosts here alongside Mr. Schwan. Second name I can't pronounce. How do you say hello, it? Hello, hello, How do you Maroof. say it? Maroof. Yeah, Maroof, Maroof. Maroof. Maroof is on fire. Okay. <laughs> not just the roof. So we are joined. <laughs> <laughs> we are joined by Erica. Erica does OnlyFans, Camming, and is a dominatrix. Yeah. <laughs> She's not nervous at all. <laughs> You're going to keep pointing this out. <laughs> I'm going to keep pointing this out. And we are joined by Kirsty, gym owner, OnlyFans person, <laughs> and a porn star. Oh, that is me. What an eclectic mix. Eh? An eclectic mix, agreed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Trust me, it's like a race. You know when you're at like the start of a race and you're really nervous, but then once you start running, you'll be all right. So yeah. you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. Like I said, I will point out every time you're nervous, you haven't got to worry. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> so how did you guys start what you what you do? What, how did you get into it? What did you do before? And how did it turn into OnlyFans on porn? So I was... In the, I, I owned a gym with my husband and we done, we've done that now for like 10 years and then lockdown happened and our gym got shut. Like we had no money coming in. We had member, we've got like 300 members and every day we would have emails coming through saying this person has dropped their membership and we could see the money just like dripping away and we were like, fuck, like what are we going to do? So... I went and <laughs> I went delivery driving in a supermarket, um, giving food to like the old and the vulnerable. And my husband was trying to like just keep everything together as much as possible in the gym. Um, and then he saw something on the TV and some mutter, so some real ugly girl making like a hundred k on OnlyFans. Mutter. Like, yeah, like <laughs> that, ugly. Where does mutter come from? Just, just like Munta. Munta, yeah. Oh, Munta. Munta, Munta, Munta whatever you want to call it. She was Ugly. butters, basically. Yeah, yeah basically. Just was she fat? Disgusting. <laughs> and she was making 100K on OnlyFans. And my husband was like, you are sitting on a gold mine. Like, get your ass on OnlyFans. Muscle oh. mummy type <laughs> stuff. Right there. That's it. So that was the brand, Muscle Girl. So we opened up a page called Muscle Girl. And <laughs> there was no face. It was all... All like my, so my quads, hamstrings and my pussy. Because my husband was like, you've got a different pussy to like other people, like a bodybuilder's pussy, like a big clit, big, big pussy. So I was like, okay, <laughs> well, we'll give it a go. Wait. A bodybuilder's pussy. Wait, wait. You're, yeah. not, you're not skipping like, past that. You know, like a, like a bicep. So yeah. like a pumped up pussy, basically. It's like a burger. How, yeah. That's what I've been told. <laughs> and a big clit. So, how, well, how, yeah, in it. Don't try to avoid this. How, yeah. big is the, how big is the clit? Do you want me to get it out? <laughs> no, <laughs> well, well, on this. Me measure it on show. my finger. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Wow. What's yeah. that like three inches? No. Was that three like, inches for you, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you think three inches? <laughs> yeah, mate, I've got eight right down here. Do you okay, know, what, eight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, some guys can have a problem finding a girl's clit. Yeah. Well, there's no, there's no issue there. Like, you'll find mine easy. I want to know what a clit, like, properly looks like then. Because obviously, always, it's usually, like, tucked away, isn't it? Yeah, and mine's not. Just sending me Twitter afterwards. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of straight on Twitter. <laughs> so, what, what do you like? So, you've got this big clit. How do you, like... Whatever extra content can you do with that? Like, so I've got it pierced as well. So, so yeah, it's proper Wait, sensitive. What? Yeah, so can't it kill the sensitivity doing that? Oh, well, it doesn't mind. Could, that, could, what if you hit like hurt. a nerve? No, it's oh, it's amazing. Like, I got it pierced, and the lady who pierced it, she said, "Don't touch it for like six weeks." The next day, I was bashing myself like oh my god this is amazing like i was it, like oh it, so blown up i was like i could not stop touching myself it was amazing so yeah that was so you've got it pierced and then what what you said like obviously you've got a different pussy like how do you capitalize on that what do you do so with my quads and my hamstrings and this pussy like we made <laughs> like my husband was taking like really good photos so we made like a set of photos and Within my first week of 
doing it. I'd just with photos, no, nothing else. I made like two grand in a week. And considering we were broke because of lockdown and I was working in Morrison's, I was just like, right, this is it. I've got, I've, I've got something here. I can do something with this. So, I had no following. So how did you, how did you promote it? I didn't, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I literally oh. just set up the page and people just on my feed. So you didn't put it on your socials at all? Nope, nothing on my socials. Wow. Nothing. It lit, like, it, I don't know if more people were on OnlyFans at the time because of lockdown. It so just during, went completely so crazy. During lockdown, there was a massive surge of people on OnlyFans. Yeah. And then after lockdown, if you did OnlyFans during it, you probably would have seen a drop post lockdown. So, well, so within the first, so we started in February. And then lockdown unlocked in April. And I thought what you just said, it's going to go down. Yeah. But I made over a year's worth of salary, say 30K in a, in a month. And I was like, I was like amazed. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then as soon as lockdown went back to normal, it just rose. It went which which better. is interesting because this country was struggling for money. I know everyone was at home. <laughs> yeah, everyone on OnlyFans was making more than ever. There's there's always money for pussy pics, mate. People that's true. pay for pussy pics. That yeah. is true. But always for one sells. Ass, yeah, that's true. <laughs> the pussy pics now I don't sell because now I have a subscription page. My pussy pics are free, but then I just do vi I do extra PPVs. Stuff. Yeah, exactly yeah. that. So yeah, so first of all, it's pussy pics. Then it was like, well, I never had any toys at home. Like I was one of these girls that didn't have any sexy underwear. I didn't have any toys. I wasn't very sexually like, I didn't experiment very much. I was quite boring. I slept with like four people. I was like, and then I had, I just invested all the money that I made into all these toys and was <laughs> Googling what to do. And yeah, just went like that really. And I've right. heard of this, <laughs> this thing. I, I don't know um, if you can like elaborate on what it actually is, but I've heard of a, a clip blow job. Yeah. So what is a clip blowjob and how, how does it, how does it happen? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so I have requests because I've got like a, a big pussy and a big clip. They ask for a clip blowjob. So. Well, man ask. So you're telling me man ask for clip blowjob videos. Yeah. So they want to see my <laughs> clip being like sucked as if like. You That's like sucking a, a dick, I suppose. I'm not is sure. Not, like, is that not slightly gay? I mean, it's a bit well, no. sus. Well, I have females do it, like because I do girl on girl content. Well, that is that is gay. Well, yeah, yeah but, but I'm that, not gay. I, meant, I meant like for a guy to ask for it. So a guy would request a like a yeah maybe it is gay like to have a have a video of me getting a clip blowjob kind of thing. But, I so, just couldn't could, broke just. Could you imagine you got you go in the club, you're, do, you're doing your thing. There's a girl, you go into the bathroom. Yeah. Before you tell her to get on her knees, she tells you to get on yours. <laughs> <laughs> and I start sucking the gluck gluck three thousand in the club, bro. <laughs> There's no gluck gluck, mate. You're not really gonna have like a gag reflex to that, are you? Yeah, especially if you're experienced. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that. I mean I brush my teeth, mate. It's not gonna be worse than that. <laughs> um so how did, how did you actually get started? What, what did you Mine was pretty simple, to be fair. Like, just me and my partner at the time were just... What did you do before? What did I do before? Yeah. Uh, well, really vanilla job. Um, I work for... Uh, in an office, let's just say, in an office. Um, and then I do beauty for myself and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Nothing at all to do with porn. Never, ever had a... Apart from filming, maybe, with a partner. But that's kind of how it began. Like, the partner... Sorry, the person that I was with... At the time, like, he just liked to film stuff and mm -hmm. kind of just went from there. And then I'd said something to my dad and um, it was my dad who was like, oh, I'm surprised you're not doing that. And then from there, I was like, oh, well, would you let me do it? And he was like, well, you know, if there's money in it, do it. And I don't think he actually realised what it meant. <laughs> and then obviously, like, as I got more and more into it, he's like, well, it's just, like, just bikini stuff, isn't it? I was like, no, it's, like, full on porn. Like, they know everything I do. Shout and out to dads. They're totally supportive. <laughs> they are really, really good. So, but... so, what? So, 
the reason you do porn is because of your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. I'm a supportive father. Right? Is not, uh, what, yeah. No, they yeah. are great. They are really supportive. But I mean, it's not, it's not You're the best fan. Not, he did. Is he subscribed? <laughs> he, there was a just situation. Oh, thought, I'm just supporting my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> there was a situation <laughs> where... Um, Basically, my ex had wrote something on a Facebook wall and my uncle had seen it, he'd come across it and it was just it's always the uncle. a general conversation like about, you need to stay out of my business. All these people commenting underneath, yeah, but you basically take it up the arse, you do this and whatever. On Twitter, my uncle's seen it and then phoned my dad and then oh. my dad's phoned me and been like, what the fuck is this? Like, what's what's going off? Like, your uncle's phoned me and told me that Sam Hutt takes things up the bum. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> but then he was like, he said um, he said he likes to get pegged or something. Um, well, well, who? who? My, my ex-partner. <laughs> your, your ex likes to get pegged? So it, this is like the conversation. This is how it started. on um, on It was on Facebook. And um, he... He phoned me and said, what is pegging? So he asked me actually, what is pegging? Well, your partner? No, my dad oh, asked dad's. me, what is pegging? And I had to literally Did explain him to him. <laughs> no. But I had to explain to him what pegging actually was. Like a man obviously getting done by a girl. And then he just kind of went quiet and was just like, okay, right. So who's the girl that's doing this? And I was like, well, obviously me. And he just went absolutely nuts. You're disgusting, you. you disgrace me. That no, must be fucking tough. Literally, dude. it was the most awkward what, conversation. What, she pegged someone? Yeah. It was a very awkward <laughs> no, conversation. I, feel, I, feel like I would Imagine be, you're the dad. I would be less <laughs> disappointed if my daughter was pegging someone versus taking it in the arse on camera. You'd be less disappointed. Yeah. Wait, I'm just, was, my brain's not that smart, mate. It's a lot of words that. Less disappointed. Yeah. So you would prefer her to peg. Yeah. Than get done in the arse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, but then you got to think, think of about your, it, bro. your daughter's boyfriend likes taking it up the bum. Yeah. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know which is actually worse, to be honest. So <laughs> what, what is it with this peg? Do you like this pegging stuff? Yeah, absolutely love pegging. Oh my god! Oh, I love god. it. I don't know. I've always liked it, and I don't. I can't tell you where it's actually come from. I just like man on man stuff, and just seeing a guy take it. Absolutely love man it. Man on man just, stuff is not pegging. Yeah, but it's still essentially taking it up the arse and taking it. Wait, and so it, you like, like watching? You like cock. watching like man on man? Yeah, love it. Did, you, did your ex do that? No, he's not gay at all. Oh, so she knows it's what like to say. She's on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> she knows, she knows <laughs> what to ask. He's conditioned you well. No, there's a lot of guys that do. You know, they do got stuff with guys, but they're not actually gay. Like, there's a lot of guys in the industry that do that. And oh, in the industry, yeah, is yeah. that not gay? It's slightly uh, gay. It's gay for pay, isn't it? Yeah. So, Which is gay. No, I'm not gay. It isn't. And I lick pussy. Yeah, same. I'm not gay. You're whatever you want. You're bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the protein. Yeah, I yeah. don't get it. So how can you, like, do it? And do you, like, enjoy it whilst you're doing it? So when I've you've never got... done it with a girl. I've never done anything with a girl before OnlyFans. I always had a attraction to girls but I never actually fully went there I'd always had a boyfriend so I'd never I'd thought about it but I'd never actually done it and then I did it and I was like oh this isn't actually that bad and then every girl I did it with they're like actually you should be gay like you literally good, you're good <laughs> no, at so, that so like if you've got a partner and you're going to do a collab with someone else yeah and you're like I'm not going to enjoy it it's just business yeah you are going to enjoy it whilst you're doing it though not every single time oh you work must sex. you must do collabs yeah it's work sex do you do collabs yeah yeah I've had, would you enjoy it if you were doing it? It depends who it's with, I suppose. Yeah. If you're attracted to you're them married, correct? sometimes. Yeah. And you are... I'm now single, but I have done it the with... The difference in answers when someone's taken versus not. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm I don't think that would have made a difference. Single. I think it would. It, yeah. I think it would, mate. They're, they're, they're having sexual pleasure on camera. They're going to enjoy it. Nah, mate. Nah. I don't think they do. I think it's more of if like... If it's with someone that's ugly, then obviously... Th I think one is like <laughs> a work experience and one is like a... Uh, yeah, but they're still depends. going to feel semi-good. And sex... No. I think sex on camera... <laughs> oh. I think sex on camera is very different to what sex is actually like and what sex should be like. Wow, and I think, you've just cracked porn, mate. Well done. <laughs> no, no, but people conflate porn with real sex. That's why oh, a lot yeah, of kids yeah, yeah. think yeah. that fucking is what sex is like, yeah. and it's not it's like staged. that. It's staged. It's very staged. Yeah, but, it's... yeah, so the, you, when you've got this girl's 
pussy in your mouth. Yeah. What, what are you thinking? Are you this enjoying so- it? <laughs> what am I thinking? I'm thinking I'm getting paid. This is so surreal. I'm like, like I'm thinking about what I'm having for dinner. Like I'm not pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like and also in my head I'm so I did a shoot not long ago and I had to do 25 minutes of pussy licking and like the cramp in my tongue. Oh, and he, I've got the cameraman going more tongue, more tongue. So I'm like, <gasps> like this, <laughs> eye rolling and I'm, oh God. And I'm just like counting down the seconds. He's like, right, another minute. And I'm like, oh, that's, okay. That's, that's how men feel when they have to give women heads. I can imagine. <laughs> I, I can completely I don't get imagine. cramp. Do my, my, my mouth how doesn't get How long do you do it for? Not long enough. I, I, don't need to, <laughs> I don't need to do it for very long. Yeah, it's a hidden talent. Because they lie to you. Yeah. They're like, can you stop that now, please? <laughs> Slobbery mess. <laughs> yeah, you did great, mate. Yeah, I finished. Yeah, coming. So uh, what is the weirdest requests uh, that you guys have had? You go first, then, then you. The weirdest request? Oh, okay. So feet. I'm sh- does anyone have is that yeah. weird that's yeah, common no, licking your own feet like, oh licking your camera. own feet like, I'm not even that flexible and trying to get my foot in my mouth I don't look sexy trying to do that like, fuck me your calves are massive <laughs> <laughs> my quads get in the way but, and I'm not flexible wait wait wait, wait. so what you have to they literally want you to like pretzel yourself and like I could do it with my right foot feet. not my left uh, do you like feet I fucking hate no I stretch <laughs> I wouldn't mind like having a f- foot in my mouth I like, couldn't have someone else's I'm, foot you know just you know quickly just chuck it in there yeah if it's there <laughs> what about a, a, like a foot job no so again I nice. get no I get so many requests and my husband hates it like he's like your feet are like dead fish they're cold and disgusting and wet and wow. I completely agree he sounds agree. supportive and he's like I'm only going to do it if they're going to pay $200 and I'm like okay cool because then we'll just split the money so yeah we do try we do do it but it's just an awful thing to do and I feel terrible for doing it alright so you suck your own feet as your <laughs> <laughs> as I've your tried. weirdest uh, request what, what about you uh, I'd probably say one of the weirdest ones I've had was can you put a dildo in at the same time as having a shit <gasps> what <laughs> Pause. Pause. <laughs> Wait, what? Pause. Bro. Bro, it, every week. Every week. I, no. They level up, mate. mate There's levels to why, this game. Why is that a thing? How are you putting dildo up whilst putting? Is it like is it gonna squ- coming out? I don't know how you'd actually get something in while something else is coming out. I don't actually know. I'm whether. assuming it goes in and then you... I don't think the guy even wanted like to... He didn't have a fetish for it. He's just like, I'm just interested to see what it looks like. <laughs> So, you know, I was just like, why have you asked me that? Did you his, do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hell no. His wife Did is like, why, why is it? Why is there sixty dollars out of um, our account from OnlyFans? Nothing. Sixty dollars, mate. That's a bit I do cheap. a lot more than that. Oh, more. Hell Seventy-five dollars. Yeah. So weird. It's a really weird one. That's probably not the weirdest one. One of the weirdest ones. Like it's quite. It's quite normal, but not normal. Like, so basically he'd asked me for some naked images of myself doing certain poses. And he'd sent me these images of this like lady, like old images of this woman, like doing like really weird poses. And he wanted me to do it naked. And then- what, of an old woman? No, it was, it was his um, college girlfriend or something. And he was you know, married, got kids and stuff. This woman's like completely yes, yes. out of his life. But he wanted naked images of me doing the poses that she was doing in the images of when he was at college with her. What? <laughs> yeah. So, is oh, it, so these are old school pictures? Yeah, of just like this woman doing weird poses. And how old is he? Uh, I don't think I asked him his age. But he'd said that he'd asked like multiple women and he'd like got about 100 different women to do oh, this exact same so thing. So his fetish are them poses. No, it's, it's, obviously it's, it's, it's obviously a fascination with his ex. got him on his wall. Yeah, like a little shrine or yeah. something. Oh, he's got a, a book like Match Attacks just with photos. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's wow. That's a lot weirder than even the poo thing, to be honest. I don't think that's weirder no. than It's really strange. Thing. No, no, oh, no. That's, I think that's, it's really weird. That's not like disgusting. That's just like, he likes that yeah, pose. Yeah, weird, yeah. He likes that pose, but like, they all don't know. No, that's... The I dildo poo it. thing is interesting, though. I'd love to see if that actually works. I, mate, to be honest, he's now got me interested. I think it depends on texture. <laughs> it's like, go subscribe. Or if it's watery. <laughs> yeah, if it's watery, it'll come out of the sides. If it's not, I feel like the dildo will just come out. 
yeah, or it it'll it'll push around the, the yeah, dildo. But like, what, would so it come out? This is really like, actually. Like I think string. you need to do it. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think you need to send it to us as well. I think you know, not, we'll, not to we'll us. Put the video up here. Not to, <laughs> not to us to Schwan. <laughs> but um, you're you're gonna have to custom pay for that. Yeah, seventy five. How much would you said. actually sell that for? Oh God, a lot more than six to, Yeah. Oh fuck I feel yeah. Like, a lot Anything more. Anything in yeah. regards to poop. Like, but how, how much? Yeah, yeah, how much? A lot. I don't know. Have you ever done but, poop stuff? No. No, but we've had requests for shit muffins. Like, so... <laughs> don't, don't, don't mix shit and food together in the same what sentence, shit please. Muffin? So you, sh- you shit in a tub and then you make muffins out of it. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you make your muffins all nicely, put in your tub, and then you package them up, ship them off, and then they take pictures of them eating these shit muffins. <gasps> yeah. There's actual pages for yeah. things like this. You can make a lot of money. And I got a request f- to go with the shit muffins were piss, so tubes of piss, so they could have it in their cups of tea, so for their <laughs> breakfast. No, these people are not well. No, there's something wrong. No. I think they are rich businessmen that have nothing else to spend their money on. Where did you get that idea from? I think rich people love to just spend their money on the weirdest stuff. Yeah. I can tell you. Things that they can't buy in a shop. Mm-hmm. So I can tell you, you from not? someone who has been successful and is a businessman, I have never bought <laughs> a shit muffin <laughs> or a tube of piss from someone. Mate, you've never had a shot of piss in your tea in the morning. <laughs> what are you talking about? So they do they send the videos of them? What Do they just drink the piss all? Yeah, 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 a picture of them with their muffin and the morning got an email this is crazy so you did do it no i didn't <laughs> i didn't do it one of my friends she told me she she um she sold it she sold it but she was making like twenty eight thousand dollars. oh mate i'd do just that just shit muffin why would you not do that what shit what shit in a yeah oh, mate i would do that so you would so, do only i do a poo anyway <laughs> so you would do only well, this is what someone else said but i just think if you if you are oh, i just think if it got leaked like i what i do if anything got leaked i want to feel comfortable with me looking at that and going okay that information's leaked that's fine but if there's anything disgusting like that being leaked around the internet i just think that doesn't look that just tarnishes your reputation. Muscle well. mummy makes you high protein muffin. <laughs> yeah. Like, she ate, no, she ate 300 that. grams of raw chicken breast the night before. It could do your marketing. <laughs> no, I don't feel com- I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it. I like the money, I'm like, it. oh man, you could make a really good business. I don't, I just don't, I feel like you just don't need to do it. If you're making good money, there's yeah. other ways to make money. Yeah, if you're not comfortable making shit muffins and don't make shit muffins. What's your biggest turn on? Uh, and how did you figure out that this was your biggest turn on? I mean, I've got a couple of things. Um, obviously, pegging would be up there. <laughs> I like men with men, as we've said. But yeah, pegging's probably what, one of my top ones. But again, like, you know, like in porn and stuff, it's still acting, essentially. So I'm not enjoying it as much as I would do if I was with, like, a boyfriend. It would be more enjoyable if it's with someone who I actually want to do it with rather than just picking somebody to do the content with. Wait, so you so you would like to watch your man with another man? Yeah, absolutely. Would you let him go with another girl? Uh, I did let somebody that I was with go with another girl. We did it together. So, and I actually quite enjoyed it. So, yeah. I, I, I always find that like fascinating just because like... or well, the man on man stuff. It, well, yeah, I've always wanted to do that. No, the <laughs> if I'm with someone and they then go off... Like uh, being comfortable with them being with like another person because obviously for me that's like my worst nightmare. Like I couldn't think of anything worse than, especially watching it. I think if you're comfortable with the people as well that you're doing it with, it makes a massive difference. If you talk to them and you get into that kind of headspace where like you kind of become friends, it's not so bad when you're actually there. I think if I was to go to a swingers club and do it that way, it might be completely different because they're complete strangers. But if like, say you're in a group chat and you're all getting to know each other, yeah. you banter off each other. Do you and you fuck actually... my boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> you, were yeah, you, were but... you officially just asking her that? <laughs> <laughs> Clip. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, how did you, what do you call it? 
What do you mean? When you're all there having sex? Swingers. Well, it would be swinging essentially, swinging. but swinging. 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 Swingers. Yeah, yeah you'd go to a swingers club, club and you yeah. all swing together. Yeah. Swinger. Are you taking a piss out my accent? Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> swingers. Yeah. It's not my only kink, though. Like, I like masks. Masks, like a massive one. Masks. Masks. Anyone in a mask. Absolutely love it. What's Don't know who's mask? behind it. You can just come and rob my house and, yeah. Is be it? literally Bob from next door and I'll so be like, like when the burglar hello. comes in <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like punch down like, hello, come here. I think my friends always joke because they're like if somebody actually broke into your house with a mask on literally you would scare them off because you would be like there. hey <laughs> hello <laughs> come here I could imagine that, would, that might intimidate a couple of people yeah they'd probably run run straight they, they, out the they door they forget about robbing the house and then they start smashing her in <laughs> what the fuck have I walked into but yeah no absolutely love masks my biggest one is michael myers halloween michael mm. yeah so you like so, so you like it. pegging man on man action masks so you don't know who the person <laughs> is especially when they're in a serial killer mask uh, yeah cnc like Are you literally okay? consent not consent Are so you okay what strangling consent yeah literally like full-on rapey kind of <sighs> stuff like that yeah absolutely love it make me pass then- out love it i'll wake <laughs> up and just be there like love it That's- at what point how do you know whether well how would the guy know whether or not it's becoming a bit or too much i don't know i suppose it depends who you pick to do it with if they're used to doing it it's completely different from doing it with someone who's forcing themselves to do it no yeah. no no. but i'm saying at what point maybe you get a bit like okay this is too much do you have a safe word well i suppose you would do yeah but if you're kind of out it depends it, it depends it, it completely <laughs> depends on who you're doing it with i've got a question yeah. so if you if he's choking you yeah and you pass out, mm-hmm. does he wait for you to wake up or does he carry on? <laughs> carry on. He carries on. He can probably carry on, yeah. And then you wake up and you're And you're literally just like, wait. <laughs> what went on? I'm usually there with a massive smile on my face. <laughs> so, I've had that one of my exes said that to him. It was just like, literally, you look so happy. I've never seen anything. I've never seen anybody look so happy to literally be strangled. <laughs> So, yeah, no, I love it. <laughs> um, and the, the, the guy and guy stuff is what fascinates me. It's like, yeah. I, I don't know how... <laughs> Chill out, bro. <laughs> yeah, He's let getting me get excited. involved. Um, <laughs> Rubbing no. your nipples there as well, I could see it. <laughs> I want to know how that, that, that works. Because I think, like, for example, for you, how would you feel if you saw your... Is it husband? Yeah. yeah. Husband with another man. Cringe, cringes me out like the thought of it I'm like Ooh, no no it, no I just can't no it's not happening could you film absolutely it absolutely not no no even for money you couldn't no. film it really no but I That's like crazy. seeing him with 50 grand no because is your your husband like an alpha male yeah like he's yeah. Sta- yeah so you yeah. wouldn't want to see him in it would demasculate is that a yeah. word yeah. yeah yeah on my part like I'd be like no uh, but I like seeing him with other women like Go fuck other women and film it. Come back to me and I'll watch it. This and is get off on mad, it. mate. <laughs> that's, that's how we got into it, really. So, yeah. Have you, have you guys been to these swingers yeah. things? So, w- w- talk me through it. Like, and w- talk, talk me through your craziest like, swingers experience. So, so we used to go to clubs all the time before pre OnlyFans. This was we used to swing all the time. Every weekend, we'd go out, we'd fuck other people, and we'd just get off on it. Um, we just yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. And I'm just trying to think of, I don't know. We just fucked a lot of people. I bet you was on Fab. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> What's what? We were Fab. So it's a site. Yeah, so we was on Fab. My mate Callum Roberts was telling me all about it. Yes, yeah. shock you know about that, mate. There's yeah. some special people on Fab. Yeah, yeah there is yeah, some. There but you can go to some really classy places but you with some classy people, um, but then you've got some right dives that you can go to and you go there and you're like, fuck this, I'm not fucking you. No fucking way. Absolutely not. And I would always pull... I would generally pull the short straw. I would always get the old guy with the small penis and my <laughs> husband would get like the girl, the, like the blonde, pretty girl that he wanted. And I was just like, fuck's sake. Here yeah, I am with a face full of pubes. Wait, and you whoa, have whoa, to whoa, do You anyway. still carry well, on? Huh? You still would carry on? Yeah, because you kind of took it for the team. 
Like, we just was like... Wingman. Yeah, basically. Like, sometimes like, he would get the short straw. He'd get the fucking girl that... The, the, the thing that he got left with and I got the good husband. The thing. The thing, yeah. <laughs> trying to describe someone that I know, he would I, get I left f- with. <laughs> it's very rare that you get a couple that's a good-looking guy and a good-looking girl. Very, that very go to rare. swingers events. Exactly. You, you hardly get the both. No. Callum was telling me. Yes. You find that in only funds generally, though, that your couples usually... There's a good looking guy or a good looking girl. It's very hard to find. It's both normally both. a good looking so girl. Who, who, who yeah, the, who's the good looking one out of you and your partner? See you. I, yeah, but I'm not like that. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I don't know. And you know what I mean, though? I wouldn't. I'd never say. I don't know. That that depends on who's looking at you at the end of the day. Yeah, that's Because crazy. depending on if they like men or like women, they're going to probably side with whichever they like the most. Yeah, but what do you think personally? Fuck all that. What do you think personally? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Why would I say that? To be fair, I probably wouldn't say I'm the better looking one. I would have said like my ex was probably the better looking one. Rate yourself out of 10. You've got three, three seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> probably not five. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Right. And you? 11. 11. Yeah, rocking. That's, that's the insecurity <laughs> and the confidence showing there. You're definitely not five. Come on. I don't know, like I don't, my friends always say that I I always judge myself too harshly, so I don't know. I, I don't like to put myself right up there because I just feel like I'm... But like what you judge yourself and what you may think, other how other people may judge you are two different... Things. Yeah, like it's a compliment yeah. whenever someone will say like, oh, you're pretty or something. So you like, think, do you think personally you're a five or do you think other people judge you as a five? I think people see my images and probably think, four, oh, fucking hell, like 11 or something. But then I always get scared when I meet people that they're going to be like, oh, fucking catfish. <laughs> <laughs> I get scared. But then a lot of my friends will right. be like, you look exactly the same. And I'm like, oh, I don't feel like I do. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel, I feel like I've met a lot of people who are in your industry. Mm-hmm. And when you meet them in person, they're just fucking jarring. Jarring? Yeah, they're just jarring. Why? They're, they're loud. They're too confident. They're in your face. Oh, I'm definitely Whereas not you, like that. you just seem like a nice person. Like, do you agree? Yeah, she seems nice. That's yeah. what I'd hope. So that's that's not like across. a five. Well, yeah, but you're about talking more about energy. It's all about everything. So I just got back from Amsterdam with a thousand porn stars. And I... Wait, wait, what? wait what? A thousand porn stars? Yeah. That's a busy so, plane. Yeah. <laughs> plane, train, boat. Yeah. It was a busy hotel. Um, so yeah, there was like a thousand porn stars. And they were all, just as you just said... Really loud, showy, 90% of them. And then me in the background, I kind of move quietly. Like I don't, I, I'm not that person. I'm not a character. Sorry. Um, I'm just, I'm just me. I'm, I walk into a room and if I'm, and I'll talk to people, but I don't feel like I have to put on this persona. Whereas I feel like a lot of people build a character and yeah, like. A lot of them are like suppressing um, a lot of. Issues. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're, they're overreacting. Like it's externally. like a mask. Yeah. A mask. Mm, yeah. So don't, yeah, calm down. It's not, it's, not <laughs> a, a bit well. uh, it's not real. It's not a normal industry to be in. So like it can be very taxing on your mental health. Oh, I feel like there's a lot absolutely. of people in this industry that have a lot of trauma. Yeah. And because of that, that's they, actually, they put that mask up and they just stick to it. And then that's the persona that you will literally meet when you meet them as well. But they're not that person underneath it all. They just hide behind it. But I can't do that. I can't act and yeah. tend to be something I'm not. So oh, do, you, yeah. do you feel like people that do adult work, there tends to be a high connection with poor mental health? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. I really feel like... Has it ever affected you mentally? Yeah. Yeah. What did I do to you? I've had... So my first year of OnlyFans, it was just me on my own with my husband doing things. And I was making incredible amounts of money, but I was the loneliest person. And I had a really big breakdown because I was like, this money is not making me happy. Like I can do this and I can go there and I can do whatever the fuck I like. Great. I can buy this. It doesn't make me happy. It doesn't satisfy me. Um, so then I had to kind of, I was ready to suck it all in. And then I went to like a, um, an event with other creators and then I was inspired by these other muscle girls. So I met other muscle girls and I was inspired by what they were doing. And I was like, oh, actually, there's a bigger world out there than just me at home doing OnlyFans on my own. So now I've gone into like um, doing porn with other people, other agencies around the world. And it's, I feel, I feel less lonely. Does that make sense? Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, so and I did have a big 
mental breakdown over it. And I was trying to explain to my husband and he was like, you're, you're fucking crazy. He didn't really get it at first. And then he, he did in the end. But yeah, mentally it's, it's exhausting. So if you're comfortable to say, do you struggle with any mental health in general? No, no. I'm, and doing OnlyFans caused you to have yeah, some mental health issues. Yeah, it led me to feel really unsatisfied with mm. everything. Um, money couldn't fill that void. Yeah. And it was like I, I was like being at home in my pants doing whatever to please other people in line wasn't pleasing me. But do you, do you not think that if you, you could take that exact same example and put it into a normal nine to five, people will go into a job they're not happy at, yeah. slaving away to make someone else richer. Yeah. yeah. Is it not the same except from you probably enjoy it a little bit more because you're doing it with your husband? Yeah, yeah, but it was I uh, still not you're still making, not fulfilling. Does that Yeah. There was something still not fulfilled like What I, what made you feel fulfilled? My athletic career makes me feel fulfilled. Me doing personal train uh, personal training and coaching other people and helping other people makes me feel good. So that's why I'm still now coaching and PT and I don't need the money. But I fucking love it. Mm. Like I love helping um, people. No. Now this isn't, I have no idea whether or not you struggle with mental health pink hair, but do you struggle <laughs> with He already health? knows the anxieties there. <laughs> is it pink or purple? It's pink. Mate, it's completely pink. pink. What, what the fuck are you talking about? I think I it's like, know, is it magenta? It's very, very pink. I'm colourblind. Um, yeah, no, I do. I really? struggle with mental health. Um, I have done ever since I was little. Um, anxiety, depression, uh, diagnosed BPD. Probably ADHD, BPD. suspected bipolar, <laughs> literally everything. So, yeah. What a big bag of skittles you are. Oh, oh, I was just literally. about to say that. You yeah. 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 Well, what? you were voice noting me earlier and I'm like, whoo, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Give yeah. me a coffee and I'm aware. So did you, did you find that going into the adult industry affected your mental health more or less the same? Definitely more, 100%. Um, you've got to deal with people being horrible to you on a daily basis, giving you shit about, you know, your, your kids and your body. Like ev literally every little thing you can think of, people are going to scrutinise every little thing that you do. It's just a constant judgment. And not only is it what other people say to you, it's you constantly scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Why don't I look like that? Why aren't I pretty like her? Why can't I do well like them? Or it's constantly thinking like what, you know, why can't I, be more like someone else or mm. it's why I have to limit myself to the amount of time that I spend on social media. Like now I'm just, I have to take myself off it and try not to look and I still will, but it affects my mental health. Mad, and do, you, mad. do you feel like young girls, you know, 18 years old that are legally allowed to go and do this? Mm -hmm. Do you think they should? Uh, no, definitely not. I think it, the thing is you don't know yourself as a person when you're 18, if I think about myself back when I was 18, I didn't even, I, just a totally different person to what I am now. And I feel like you don't really get to know yourself until you hit at least like 29, 30. And I feel like last couple of years, that's where I've really got to know who I am and what I'm about, the things that I would never do, trying to be a nicer person in general and stuff like, I just feel like young people just don't understand the repercussions of the things they're doing. And I actually remember a girl on, um, sorry, I'm hearing my mouth. Um, there's a girl on um, Instagram and she, you know, she's very pretty, very young, big boobs, big bum, had it all. And she was like 17 years old and she was advertising herself like, when I turn 18, like you're going to be able to see everything. I'm like, you're 17. Bad Literally did, like you're that. 17. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So and people are just waiting for these girls to um, turn. With, with, with this... With this BPD, do you mm -hmm. find it difficult to like get like stable relationships? Yeah, never satisfied, never happy, always up and down. I'm like a yo-yo, twenty-four yeah. seven, yeah. and it it's probably exhausting. really hard to be you, with me. Yeah, I went I went out with a girl that had BPD. It was extremely difficult, mm -hmm. and like one minute it was like the biggest rush ever, like a euphoria, and then the next minute it's like. The yeah. whole world is you're collapsing. A, you're against her 100% in her eyes. Yeah. yeah. Like that. You wake up like you're at the top, like on top of the world and then you go to, well, it might be literally within the space of an hour and you're literally like, I want to die. Do you, it's do you really think, hard to manage. Do you think your mental health influenced your choice in going into the adult industry? Um, I'd say past trauma maybe 
could be partly to blame for the things that I do now. But I wouldn't say it's solely the reason I went into it. I think it's just me and my partner at the time would film things anyway. So we were just like, might as well see if we can make some money out of it. Mm. So, and yeah. then obviously the dad gave the okay. But... Like, dad yeah. didn't give you the okay. He encouraged it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He yeah. encouraged that shit. I'll blame my dad for So this. does your dad know that you have fisted people before? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> he knows, they yeah, do well, know. Have you fisted people? <laughs> well, how, does, how do you know this one? I've got, mate, I have to get my... Uh, research. Yeah, research done. I did offer a picture, right. but he didn't want to see it. <laughs> Yeah. You say no. I refuse that one, mate. I oh. mean, I can share that one later with you. I got to Schwann. <laughs> what is fisting like? <laughs> Bizarre, but I probably looked the happiest that I've ever Describe been. Describe it to me. So, Well, you you've got like a set glove. Set the scene. Yeah, Schwann, well, come I mean, over here. I mean, <laughs> yeah. right, you've got I'm to warm them up a little bit first. So, so what, you go, look, look, let's let's do it from the moment you walk. Look at her nails. So I have gloves on the whole time as well. Let's just remember this. Yeah, but if you're, just, if you're careful, <gasps> you you don't, you're not going in stabbing them. you just got to be careful what you're doing. You walk so through you warm, the door. Yeah. Yeah, you sit down. You say, hello, David, or whoever it may be. Hello, Schwann. And then what? <laughs> David, what, bends over? <laughs> pulls his pants down? No, usually stirrups. So you'd have Stirrups. them back and they'd have their legs up like that. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so it's kind oh, of like... A small stretch, gay. Stretched open like that. Yeah, so you've got your legs <laughs> up in the air on stirrups. <laughs> like, uh, you know, when you go see a gynecologist? Like yeah, that. basically okay. like that, yeah. yeah. So you're going to give you're him... you're going a, a, putting a fist up his ass. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you've got to warm, you've got to obviously warm them up a bit first. Give them a couple of... How do you warm them up? So <laughs> we start with one finger, two finger, two three, see. and you just slowly... No, no you, well, you I mean, right. they could ask for that if they wanted to, but it's you've got to make sure that everything's really sterile and, you know, got your gloves on, make sure everything that you're using is, like, completely... Let me just see if there's okay. another so question on, on here. So... <laughs> <laughs> so it, it takes a little while to get up there, but once you're in, like, it kind of pops and then you feel your hand just kind of go in. Right. There's actually two holes. what do holes. you do when you're in there? Well, it depends <laughs> what they want you to do while you're in there. You can pulse, you can push... <laughs> There is actually walk. another hole in there which you can try and get through as well. So you you pop yourself into the two holes. It depends how far they'll let you get. Like people can get like up here. So I've never got up there. I've got to about like there. I've got quite small That's hands. Shit, there, so have you uh, ever fisted a a girl? No, I fisted a no. woman before. Have you fisted a yeah. woman? Like my it's hand, bizarre. My hand disappeared. Yeah, like, can that's I, how it works. Have you seen that? There are I was horrified. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, pussy my hand. Wait, wait, pussy or ass? Pussy. Raw. That pussy's, yeah. that pussy's loose, mate. Yeah. yeah. There's not, videos I'm, on Twitter where they're just in. in, in. Just because no she way. can take a fist, you warm it up. And they're really horny. It no way. It's kind of no, there's a lot of guys that I've seen on Twitter where like it just they'll just go punch yeah. out, punch out, and it just goes... Mm. Yeah. I saw a video where a bald guy put his head in. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video where a bald guy like lubes off his, his trim and that and then slides up in <laughs> head first. It is surprising what you can get up there if you try. Well, Nothing's going well, up. Well, there's a like a top hat. Do you do you like anal? I fucking hate anal. I sweat <laughs> so bad. Like Is that not just trend sweat? <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> it's like <laughs> nervous sweats, like, like clammy, like get the fuck off me. I've done it once for a video and then we still sell it today and we've done it like two years ago. Never again, ever again. Nothing's going up there. Like it just. just what, did, what did you do in the video? Just sex? So my husband had to warm up my holes. So like with his fingers and then we shoved toys in there and then he got his dick in there by that point. I'm sweating so bad and basically crying. Like I bet they love that though. Yeah, of course they do. But <laughs> I'm not doing that ever again. I, like I said, I still sell it. It's still on the internet. So go buy it. <laughs> Why? What about you? Do you like? I do enjoy it. I don't do it as much as I used to. But. Yeah, no, I, I can do it. You're it's... matured now or something. <laughs> I don't understand no. why it would feel good. What is it? No, once you get into it, it's fine. It's the getting it in that hurts. You're questioning whether or not why anal feels good. You, why would it feel good? You're literally like doing foot jobs <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. You're questioning. <laughs> why, what, she's putting 
No, well, she's not doing it, but she's putting things in her ass and trying to have a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I and haven't actually done that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. She's going to DM yet. him. She's going to message him tonight going, you know what, on second thoughts, let's you know give it a go. You, see, you seem like $60. you wanted to see it. Yeah, discount, 15% off. <laughs> um, Hard do shit. Uh, so you didn't actually f- tell me, like, what does the actual fisting feel like? Uh, it's, you always it's like come with these warm, questions. Warm and squishy. Warm I don't know, like, when it's squishy. just on the outside of your hands, Wait. it's just warm and squishy. Oh. Have you never... Like, have I never what? Huh? <laughs> have I never what, mate? Huh? Have you, have you, you're about to ask me if I've ever it like fisted when someone. No. When you stick a finger <laughs> in no. someone, uh, mate, you, you, you're still going to fit. Have you fingered a girl so. before? Huh? Have you fingered a girl before? Yes. I think I fingered a girl. Uh, Imagine that, but just a little bit further behind. It's in the... It's in the bum. It's in the bum. It's dry. No, you, you don't go in dry, though. Well, it weren't dry, no. It'll be lubed up to the max. It's It's just soft muscle tissue. And it goes back to normal after. Not when she's done with it. <laughs> Are you not scared you're going to pull your hand out and there's like shit? Well, some say, people, yeah. There is, obviously, you're going to get people with shit. You're going to get blood. You're going to get... Blood? Yeah. You're, well, yeah, because you go in into someone's bum hole. Like, that's not meant to go in there. So, yeah, you, you are going to get like blood and stuff, obviously. Well, tell us the, the time, though, mm. you've got that. Well... It, to be fair, there was two of us and the girl who was doing it, what she had hand in at the time and it was just oh. covered, absolutely co- oh, covered in blood. So and I think she on. shit herself a little bit. He wanted to carry on, but um, I would, after, because it kept coming out, we were like, I think it's time to stop now. So Why, um, why was he bleeding? What, what happened? I don't know. The nows. <laughs> it, well, it wasn't me who made him bleed. It was her, but... I don't know. I suppose like you could hit something. I suppose if you're like ramming stuff it's in It's either there. a blood vessel or it's soft Yeah, he didn't soft seem too bothered. So it, it obviously had happened before. really easily. Yeah. I can't imagine things like that are meant to be up there because you're hitting things that you're not meant what, to be What, someone's touching. elbow? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it is meant yeah. to be up there either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds... <laughs> no. The best thing about him was, we were like, what, what do you want to do now? Like... We've, we've finished doing this. We can't do any more. What do you want to do now? When he wanted to stick things down his jap side then. So we went from oh, doing that no. to, sh- to sticking things down his jap side and he literally picked up the biggest tools. <laughs> so I was like, what that one? What? And I, literally, you could start with the little one. He was like, no, what that one? It was, it was quite big, to be fair. So you just kind of let it go down the dick. What? It just kind of disappears down the hole. What? It's like this long so stick. It's a urethra dildo. Okay, let's, 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 let's <laughs> get this. What? So... A guy, yeah. After having his asshole bled open <laughs> by, a, by a fist, yeah. decided to turn around and say, "Stick an object down my penis hole." Yeah, you just let it slide down. The okay, all right. so do Whoa. you find that weird then? Uh, uh, like, where does it go weird for you? At what point are you like, "All right, now I'm weirded out"? No, I'm more fascinated. I probably had a smile on my face the whole time I did it because it's just weird. No. It's weird, but it's just like, wow, I can't believe like, there ha- there that has goes to, in there. <laughs> there has to be something. Like, what wouldn't you do? Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't do shit because it smells. That would make me... You've got your elbow in someone's booty hole. <laughs> I mean, that don't... Yeah, that don't bother me. I mean, not shitting mouth and stuff like that. Yeah, could not do stuff shit like that. Mouth. So, you wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't do so scat that's the stuff. I draw the line with you draw your line at scat. <laughs> and that's it. There's nothing else. <laughs> So that's like an average line Filth. drawn. Yeah, by I mean, everyone. like, yeah, proper disgusting shit when it comes to William Pooh and anything that's going to actually, like, physically touch you. But everything else is on the table. Like, what else, though? What are you thinking? Bro, well, we've had some mad stuff. Yeah, we've had, yeah. I can't even think of it. I can't even think of it on the I can't even, I'm still what thinking about, about what, Would you give her a clip blow job? Well, yeah, because we're, we're actually due to do a girl on girl. So, yeah, we, I'm sure that will be happening. And it was supposed to be pussy looking, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah so we'll, we will do we'll that. Send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so she did it for a treat because like, apparently I'm quite good in the South <laughs> when it comes to girls. So. Do, do you plan it? So, like, do you text each other going, so let's meet up next week, uh, 25 minute pussy licking video? It would be pretty planned. Yeah, so my schedule, my husband does all my scheduling. We have, like, a planner on the wall and... I have names, dates, places. It's a full on like business. Yeah. Yeah. I have to like put in when I'm like on my period as well. So that 
because I don't do content when I'm on. So every other day that I'm available and then I have to think about where I am in the country, whether I'm in Amsterdam, country, but the world, wherever I am in the UK to make sure it kind of marries up. Otherwise you're just kind of going everywhere all around the country. So you tra well, travel around the country yeah. and so do I've, shoots with... Yeah, so I've just bought a motorhome. A month ago I bought a motorhome. We called it the Bang Bus. <laughs> like bang bros yeah yeah, yeah like yeah if you if you type in the bang bus on the internet then it will come up with wait you own the bang bus yeah i bought a motorhome <laughs> last month um yeah i sold my range rover i was so unhappy about selling my range rover but it just didn't make business sense so i bought a bang bus and i'm traveling the country and europe to create content and that's what i've been doing what's the best bit of content you think you've ever made oh god has anything stood out to you that you thought? Yes. Um, not stand... Well, you might have to come back to me on that one. <laughs> well, <what's> the, <laughs> I've made so much content. So... Whilst so you, you, whilst you have a thing, it. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I'm banning you from talking about <laughs> fisting or dick fucking. I mean, I have filmed those things. Obviously, I've got pictures and stuff doing them, but it's where can I share it? Like, I, can't, I don't know where I can actually share it and it's allowed. So, You're not allowed to share? With my hand up people's asses and stuff. You can I think even hub. adult work, I'm not allowed to. So, you can on porn. Nah, so you just do not. that for fun? Uh, well, I get paid for it. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, it's actually in a studio and stuff. Like someone would come in and ask for. Depends what it is. Like I've only just started dominating, so all that kind of stuff. It's all oh, very wait, so, new. So do you do dominatrix? Yeah. Just for videos? No, no, no I do it for <coughs> pay as oh, well. You do it? Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, it's separate. She goes to a, like a club. Like a, right? It's a yeah. studio, yeah. So. so people, so say like I wanted to go to this studio. Yeah. I'd come in and you'd be there. You don't just walk in and just ask for what you want. It would all be through obviously the people that own the studio and then it would be all paid for and then you turn up. A lot of people are regulars. They know what they want. Obviously the guy who likes the fisting and stuff has been fisted quite a few times. He doesn't just come in and decide. Isn't like, it mad? He, just... he goes back to his normal job. It's very like, bizarre. Yeah. You see, what these was he people? meant to do, bro? What? <laughs> bro had, what he's uh, had a fist in him now. They now never he can't look live like life. how you think. No, they're but like, imagine you just get on the bus and he's there, the bus driver. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> two minutes ago, his legs were spread open like this. Yeah, does it smell like lube and shit in here? <laughs> oh, yeah. They the never four, look six, six. how you think they're going to look. Four, they're always six, very six. quite normal looking people. So, it's do you know very what strange. any of them do? Like this guy, what does he do uh, for work? You, you could ask them. Like it's 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 weird because you go from being hello, friendly, you all right, you know, do you want to have a shower? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And it's all very like pally pally. You get into the room and then that's where you, it stops. Like have you got like safe word? You know, what do you want? What's your kinks? You do your session and then afterwards, are you okay? You know, do you want a drink? Whatever. Oh. You okay? Hug. Bye. Like oh, it's. Just kind of, yeah, it's weird because it, you go from being in dom mode to then being like friendly and stuff. So it is a little bit weird, but you've got to make sure that they've got the before care and the after care because you've got to just make sure that they're okay because they might not be. And how much, how much does that cost? It depends what you have. It depends this, what this you This always ask amazes for. us how much people Menu. pay for like... It can be, I think, um, professional doming if you're right up there. I think some people can charge up to about 250 an hour. Um, and then charge more for depending what you ask for, say well, like think, water sports and stuff. If you want to be, I think it's a lot like more that. than two fifty. That's an average. Um, that's like an okay prostitute uh, escort. It is, do you know? Huh? <laughs> you paid Callum Roberts was telling me. <laughs> um, no, I think about two fifty. I think is about right. Two fifty. Mm. Yeah, I'd say two fifty. Yeah. No, not for a the, proper dominatrix. That's it depends what there. you ask for. Bro, how do you know this, mate? Mate, what a proper <laughs> dominatrix. That's up there. You, they're going to get rich white collar donnies going in there. They're not paying two fifty. Yeah, but you mate. could they're pay for a thousands. prostitute down there and a prostitute up there, and you could pay a yeah, thousand pounds for an hour. And it depends I'm, so I'm who talking about asking. like top notch dominatrix. I think they make more than escorts. I can't say I've like had that conversation with somebody though. I can oh, only haven't. say who I've met and what they right. charge really. Like starting rate is going to be a lot lower than when you're really experienced yeah, yeah. in any kind of line of job. So can I, I just, I, can you compare hand sizes of Sean quick? Like, so put them together like that. I just need to see this. Just trust me, Sean, you have to do this. Your talons don't put count. them on. Oh, that oh, that oh. hand's been in a guy's arsehole. Oh. <laughs> you're now gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing it. <laughs> what do you guys think about your muscles? 
Well, <laughs> what a question. So I've, what do you guys think of my muscles? I get a lot of good and I get a lot of bad stuff said to me over the internet, to my face in the street. Um, in the street? Yeah. What yeah. Do say to you? So even like in Amsterdam, I will have like just gone. Um, I was sitting, uh, sitting down having food and there was these people like just staring at me and shaking their head. And I was like, what the fuck are you looking at? Kind of thing. Um, and one of the ladies, she come up to me and said, you are, you're, you're supposed to be a woman. You should not look like this. What? Wow. Yeah. And it's quite an old, an older lady. So I just think it's a generation thing. So yeah, but there, there's bro. still like being ruse that existed yeah. back then. Yeah, no, but then on the flip side of that, so we had them people staring, shaking their heads and being rude. And then on another table, once them people had gone, these other people come up to me and said, don't listen to them. Like, you look amazing. Um, and they were all for it. So you kind of get like like the complete opposite. So I can get the good and the bad. And as, a, as for guys, um, so I never knew being a muscle girl was going to be such a big thing um, on the internet. Like, guys love it. A lot of American guys love it, um, which is great. Um, but I think when I go, when I'm about in the UK and say I'm in a club, not many guys will approach me because of how I look. So it can put a lot of people off. Well, the type of people that go to the club aren't normally the type of people that are athletes. And well, you've got an athlete build. Yeah, so, I think athletes still go to the club. Not, I think not as they're many. intimidated more so than anything. Not not like, as many athletes. The, the majority of the people in a club, the majority of them aren't athletes. No. So but, when a woman comes in like this, the main people that are going to appreciate it are either mad freaky men or men that go to the gym. Yeah. And then I get people in the street who will, like men who will come up and touch me and my husband will literally flip his lid he's like you've got no right to touch her you're damn straight but yeah is how, it, how do they, what do you mean they touch you will they grab like your they bicep would, they would like stroke my, stroke my arm not like my tits or my boot or my butt or anything like that they yeah, would stroke still, my arm and be like yeah like so they're still they're still making contact with me um, well, walking down the street in the street yeah and yeah, yeah like so just being down the high street yeah <laughs> and mental. my husband will walk in front of me right so I will walk and he he can see who's staring at me and they don't realise that we're like together. They'll see me and then they'll see him and then they'll look, they'll look away. Kind of How thing. tall is he? 5'10". Like How much does he weigh? He's, he's built like you. Big lad. Big he's lad. a big lad yeah. then. Beard, tattoos. Built like me. Yeah. Brick shit house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've got a bit deeper. Big lad. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the voice had to go deeper for yeah. that one. <laughs> but yeah, I can get a lot of hate TikTok as well, especially I can wake up and be like... Oh, TikTok's the worst. Yeah, like, I, oh, you're a man, chick with a dick kind of thing. And yeah, it can be... It, it, click dick. Click dick. Correction, please. Yeah, correction, <laughs> click dick. Um, yeah, so it can be quite disheartening. And then I get the whole load of like, oh, you're just on steroids. And then I'm just like, if you just took a little, like, if you just come into my life and see how I train and what I do, then then you wouldn't say that. I think so. pe people online are just so quick to judge. They don't realise what they're saying can be very harmful. TikTok um, is savage. It's, it, it is. Mate, I've it's never seen anything like, like we've got a video and it's gone pretty viral and it's a girl talking about like Conor McGregor. And I read through the comments and like I'm like, if this girl actually read these comments, like she'd want to kill herself, mate. It's like mm. just nasty, like pure nasty. People don't get like there's no there's actually no point in doing that. I wanna be like one of these hippie people that say this stuff, but like what is the need for like bullying someone online? Yeah. Like that I, for no it's reason. People that that are like have been get bullied in real themselves. life, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the thing the thing is as well, like I'm looking into it too much, but you put your body out there. Yeah. But you've earned that body. Mm. Whereas a lot of women out there will do nothing and put their body out there. So yeah. you, you should have more respect for what you're showing because you've spent a lot of time into it. Yeah. Yeah. There's no quick fix. And I think that's what really gets me. So 
a couple of weeks ago, I actually woke up to people saying, oh, you've had a BBL. BBL, is it? A BBL where they have like... Yeah, Brazilian butt lift. Yeah, and boobs. Because I've got a scar on my stomach, so they just assume that that's... A what... scar on your stomach? Yeah. Where so... on your stomach? Here. What, and they assume that's your boob job? No, like BBL. a BBL. So oh. basically I've had stuff sucked out of me and then shoved in and I'm like, well, that's like the worst scar. Well, so... and they think that's the scar that's left. Yeah, basically. Yeah, so... Idiots. Saying that I'm like cheating and I'm just like, oh wow, like no, just your, de your delts are bigger than them. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, I know the truth, and I think my husband put something up on Twitter and it did go pretty viral actually about what actually happened and why I've got that scar because it, it just get you do, I do get trolled a lot and it can affect your mental health and it can put you, it can just like put you down on the floor, which is mm. shit, really. Like, I'm I should be proud of my body, of what I do, what what it can do, how I look. And then you get some arsehole, some war keyboard warrior, like, just being mean. So. Has it ever made you want to quit? Right. It's made me want to hide. So in in the summer, so and I still do this. So in the summer, I've got, when it's warm, I'm in my shorts and my top, and I know I get stared at. Okay, I've just, I've just come to the point where actually I have to accept it. I look different, fine, whatever. But in the winter or whenever I can, I can hide in my tracksuits and no one will take, take a second look at me. And it's actually really nice not to have people staring at you and I can just feel like free from eyes. On well, you you know, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I, I, I do like getting stared at because I do get stared at when I walk out yeah. with uh, just shorts on and like I'm just, yeah, my tattoos are all out. <laughs> Your I, get, I get looked at a lot when I go out in public yeah. but I like it yeah but I don't know if people are looking at me See, like I, probably I, they are probably are looking at me like what the fuck but well no you look like someone that's the thing like you look like I am someone no you look <laughs> you're telling me I'm not important you look, no what? you're important bro you're important, you're important to me <laughs> <laughs> See, that's all that matters yeah, yeah exactly yeah but like you're covered in tattoos the hair you know you're climbing out of a nice one, car mate. but oh. for a guy that's okay you're supposed to be in in some people's eyes you're supposed to be big bearded strong wait, wait, man what is masculine this? that's me yeah. yeah that's what a man it's what are. other people aspire to be I suppose don't they yeah so. <laughs> whereas well, no, for a female you, it's you shouldn't look like that you should be used to it though like I, I personally prefer to work out in a hoodie and joggers and I get slated for it every time I go to the gym. So in Kings, you know, it's known for everyone getting their body out. I'm like, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I literally just want to be in baggy clothes 24 seven. But if you go, you must get it. When you go to any gym, that's not a bodybuilding gym. You will just get stared at yeah, so I, hard. I don't do it. <laughs> and it's so uncomfortable. Yeah. It's like, they think, oh, you, you're self-obsessed. Like, look how big your muscles are. You must love people staring at you. It's like, no, I, I come here because I love going, I love lifting weights up and down. Mm -hmm. I don't want to come here and be stared at religiously by some creeps. Especially, mate, let me tell you this story. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. The, stop putting on a deep voice as well. I'm ill. <laughs> You're hungover. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> but um, King's Gym, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I get into the shower, have a shower, come out of the shower, leave. Yeah. Bot account on Instagram. Your legs look juicy and big going into that shower. You see, that's when I know you're lying. What? Your legs aren't juicy and big. <laughs> oh, now I know you're chatting the most, mate. Yeah. What ways do you? What ways do you? I don't know, mate. But there's bigger guys in you that go to that gym. Bigger guys where? Where are they? Kings. You said in you. That go to the Kings gym. Yeah. And you. Yeah, but there's a difference between me and them. And if I was a bot account, mate, if I was a guy and I was looking in the yeah, shower, but, no, but a lot of them, I'd be looking at some of them, mate. Yeah, yeah, but what you're talking about is the roided up men. That's yeah. not desired by the majority of people. I think it is. It's not. You'd be very wrong. <laughs> you think that the majority... Why are we talking about you in the shower, mate? Huh? It's just a story. <laughs> because if people stare and you get weirdos. I wonder who it actually is. There's bare closeted men in that gym. Did you make a fake account and message yourself? I didn't. <laughs> I did not. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, it stopped me showering there for ages. Yeah, I don't shower at the gym anyway. No, he's, I just, I just, I just put sliders on. I, st I get unchanged in the shower now. I don't blame you. What's, you, your, what's your biggest regrets about um, getting into this like, industry? Uh, or like, what's your like, one regret that you've done like content-wise that you wish you didn't do? Ooh. I've so there's something called adult folio 
you want is it adult folio mm. um so basically you there's like photographers on there that um that claim that they like to take photos and good nudes of models so uh, for for money so they'll go oh i'll pay you 500 pound and i'd love to shoot with you they pay you yeah if a photographer asks to pay coming from a photographer if a photographer asks to pay you for a shoot that's for them don't do it well this is the thing i was so i was very new to this and i didn't do my research i was like yeah great so he gave me his location. He was like, I'd love to do it in nature. I was like, yeah, okay, cool. Didn't Alone think. with a guy in the woods. That sounds safe. <laughs> exactly. I was not safe. So I, I went there three hours up the road. He paid me the money. And then we went off to do the shoot. And I'm walking into these woods. And, I'm, and he's behind me. And I'm thinking, I have no idea where I am. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. He could have anything in his bag. He could have a rope, anything, and just like, just strangle me there and then be dead. And I was just, I felt really unsafe, but I continued with the shoot, did the hour, and then the second half, the second half was in a hotel room. The hotel was like five miles down the road. And I got in my car and I drove home. And I, yeah, I just... I so just, did he you, make you feel uncomfortable? He he didn't make me feel uncomfortable. He, he So you're wait, wait, you're telling me you did the woods shoot, but you wouldn't go to a safe hotel. Well, I know, I know, safe. but it's compared to the woods. If I suppose once you've been put in an uncomfortable position, then you're like, okay, I thought this. Yeah, so uh, but uh, it was my first shoot like it, and I didn't really know what I was getting into. And it wasn't until I asked, What are you doing with this content? What you, what we doing with this he was like oh it's just for myself and that's what made me you didn't think. ask that first no again because i was oh so new days. to this cut no, where, where's the rule book where's 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 like no how one was there you? to help me sorry how old were you this was only like six months ago so when i first started collabing you people. should have known better i know i should have known better i know but i looked on his review page before and he had really good reviews oh, from models what? that I'd worked with. So I was like, oh, okay, he's a legit guy. But he weren't. Well, well what's, wrong, what's wrong with that, though? If, if it's... Uh, so you, you'd sell that... Wait, wait. You'd sell that content on OnlyFans. But I didn't get the content. Yeah, no, no, you but you got off. £500, right? Yeah, I got the £500. Um, so imagine you did like a, 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 like a pay-per-view and you sent it off and yeah. you got £500 from it. Pretty much be like the same, right? No, so I how I felt, I felt like I'd hoard myself off. So when it comes to creating content with another content creator, you're kind of doing a business exchange. So like you're it doing is. it. For, yeah, but it felt completely different. I was just satisfying. What I was doing was satisfying him, if that makes sense. That's what you do when you sell content. No, when you go, when, when you do content with a creator creator, I don't do it for enjoyment. I don't think the person I'm doing it with is doing it for pleasure. There's a difference. Mm. It's a business exchange. No, 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 no. But we're, we're saying if you, if you're like, say sexting someone on OnlyFans yeah. and you're sending them content, yeah. isn't that surely like very similar thing, right? It's one-on-one, -on -one, you're making money off him like, with no, your photos. She, I think what she's saying, is she doesn't have the, the interaction with the person in person. Yeah. So this guy is oh, in front okay. of her, so you've never staring met at her. Not like that. No. Like for like, I see that more as like a cheap prostitute. Right. Because I'm having pound people... isn't a cheap prostitute. Yeah, isn't it? Is it for, for thirty minutes. No, no, no. It's like for two hours. This it's, price. It's like Callum was telling me that's like average price. Two fifty an hour. Yeah, that's what Big Reg was telling me that he charges. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like feeling like a cheap prostitute, and that's not what I go and do content for. I don't. I, that's why I don't escort. If someone's going to pay me three grand, I'm pleasuring that person. He's getting off on me doing something for him. I'm his slave for the next eight hours. That's how I feel. Whereas if it's content for content, you're going to walk away with content and make money out of it. Yeah. I'm going to walk away with content, and it's a complete. Yeah. There's no feelings. It's work sex. Yeah. Whereas I just. But yeah, me having sex in the woods with a guy was just not good. Wait, wait, you had sex with him? It it got to that point and I was like, right, this is done. What, you no, tried to have sex with yeah. him? What the fuck? Well, yeah. you missed that bit out completely. Yeah, innit? Yeah. That's, that's a big part of the story there. 
Yeah, so it kind of, it was like a nude shoot and it started off very much like just tease and the camera following him taking pictures and videos to us having like not full on sex, but as if it was about to happen. So his cock would be near my pussy or just about there. And he'd be taking pictures and videos. That's naughty. Yeah. Oh my that's God, what I'm now that to say. makes it way yeah. worse. Yeah. You missed that whole bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So that's you probably, why I didn't Were you go... not comfortable saying it? Yeah, maybe. I just, um, I feel, I feel disgusted at myself for doing that. No, and then it's it not your happen, fault at all. Which no. is why I got in my car and I was like, if I Did go to that make... hotel, I'm going to be having sex with that guy. Oh, mm. see, if you had led with that part, we would understand. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. did he make it clear that he would be doing that? No, it was all yeah, just so he, like, A lot of them do that. I've that's what I mean lot. on this particular... That's non-see behaviour, bro. On this particular website... I've taken myself off it now because a lot of the photographers are doing the same thing and I feel like these girls are getting their money but they're just being taken advantage of like that. Why don't you, I've why, heard why, a lot why, about why stories like this. Yeah. So uh, what, did your, what did your partner think of that? Was he ready to... Oh, my, hus my husband was really quite angry at the whole situation and he really apologised to me because he felt like he'd let me down when like we were both working as a team and trying to use our schedule and wait, 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 wait. Let's, let me go back I didn't even think about this your husband allowed you to go to a woods with a stranger well this is the thing we hadn't really we hadn't really we'd only just started doing these collabs Did and he, we just assumed it would be okay I had a tracker on my phone but do you didn't do come with do you do male do you do yeah Male collabs? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Oh, so he's fine with that? Yeah, no, he's oh. absolutely fine with it, which is why he let me do it. And he's like, are you comfortable with this? I was like, yeah, no, this will be fine. But once I got on the phone to him, he apologised. It wasn't his fault. It was both of our faults. We didn't do our mm. research. We didn't know enough about it. He did. My husband. Oh, he your felt, husband? Yeah, he I felt really, really bad. No, no, no. Have you heard from the photographer at all? He tried to call me, but I've just like, like get mm. fuck off my phone. Yeah, God, it, that's should have made that clear. That's yeah. why I do so well as a photographer, because a lot of the people you I shoot, you're cocking there in the, next to them. <laughs> no, but when I when I do shoots, people feel comfortable, and yeah. a lot a lot of the feedback I get is you made me feel so comfortable on that shoot. It didn't feel like a shoot. It's because a lot of photographers they're creepy AF. Yeah, mm. the amount of photographers I know that offer free shoots to like people just because of the way they look. Yeah, is ridiculous. Like it's so creepy, and especially when it's like young impressionable people. You want to do well on social media, or they're like, "Oh my god, a, fr a free shoot! Yeah, oh yeah. my god, I'm going to get professional photos. This is what I need." Yeah, and then they take advantage of them. I can't lie, mate. One of my biggest fears is like feeling like I'm being creepy towards a girl. Like, yeah. if I go on a date with a girl and like I like try it on with her, or like, or say like I I, I go like I'm. I, flirting with a girl and I'm trying to on with her if I'm being like creepy and she like feels uncomfortable or like, like and you don't read the signs and you, you yeah or you but no she, or she is just really shy but she's super interested but she's so shy and I, I had it once where I um I was like have, I had a party and I choose invited, this story wisely now yeah, yeah I'll say it I don't care I had a party and I invited a, a, a girl over she came and it was like it was late at night like three three in the morning that she came and then she's coming for sex well, I didn't know so she was super quiet <laughs> she we didn't kiss each other or anything like we were it was like we were just all chilling together it was like having a little party here and after like an hour I was like I need to go to bed but I didn't want to make it out like I had just invited her to bring her to come to bed you think so I said to her look you can carry on with the party I'm just going to go to bed she was like no 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 I'll, I guess I'll come yeah so then, and then she sat on like the opposite side of the bed to me. And I was just like, you know what? Yeah, nothing is going to happen. I, was, like, I said to her, you just, you like, like you, if you feel weird or whatever, just like, I'll, I'll get your taxi home. And she, she was like, no, 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 it's fine. And then we ended up like sleeping together. And I said to her, sleeping I was like, or having sex, having sex. Okay. And I said to her, like, I got a vibe that like, just like you weren't, I don't know, weird, kind of like a little bit weird. She was just like, I'm just super shy and like, I just didn't know how to like, kind of like flirt or whatever. So that was, but that was my biggest fear, like being, feeling like I'm going to be creepy. So I don't understand how these guys can do that and mm. not feel. They, are, so you cool got the fear of being creepy. They 
Don't they are them. creepy. That's, <laughs> the, that's the difference there, mate. That is the clear difference. And but they I, know that if you offer the money, like, and people want the money, then people, mm. the girls will go. Mm. And that's, yeah, that's... That's the, also the danger of being young because it, girls will literally just take yeah. whatever they can get. Six months ago. I know. But that was when I first started collabing. I get and was that, all though. New it's, to it, it is so now, hard. Now I, so I did a shoot on Friday, actually. No, Friday, yeah, week Friday with a guy in a hotel room. I'd done all my research. He's very well known in the production of stuff. He's got big Twitter, big OnlyFans. And I went there. And I said, if I didn't feel comfortable within the first 10 minutes, I'd walk straight back out and refund the money. But he made me feel really comfortable. And Yeah, you can yeah. walk out whenever the hell you want. Yeah. And that was a completely different shoot. And we did six scenes, including sex and everything like that. And yeah, I walked out not feeling like a cheap prostitute. That was it. it was just a totally different experience. So, Bro, being labelled a creep is the worst yeah. thing you can ever be as a guy, I think. Getting a reputation as a creep is oh, like just... I'm... Worse. But a creep is up there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what is like a criminal? But I'm saying like, yeah. something like isn't like maybe illegal, like being a creepy guy. There's, there's guys at King's, I, no one knows their name, but they just go, that creepy guy and the, the old guy with the glasses. And you know who you they're know talking who they're about. about. <laughs> because he he will literally just every girl doesn't speak, just stares. He's got that reputation. It's peak for him. Yeah. But what? also, uh, like an interesting topic for the for the man watching is like, how do you know when to like initiate a kiss when you're with a girl? Because some girls will be too shy to say So true. And then they don't want it. Or they might be shy and they do want it. Or there might be girls out there who like to say they don't want it, but want it. Yeah, bro, it's so <laughs> it's What so are you hard. meant to do? Uh, what, where, well, how do I know yeah. whether to like try it on with you? That I, That's one thing I'm like always like over the top thinking about. Yeah. Like, do, do, I, do, I, do, do, I, do I do I approach you? Do let's I, do ask I, um, Pink over here. I mean, like if I want something, I get it. So I'm very <laughs> forward like that. So I'd be totally different to being shy. You'd know if I wanted to. Okay. So I don't really know. What would you do? That. Say you wanted to, like... What, be with somebody? In that say you way. wanted to get with someone, I don't know. What, how, how would they know? Well, I don't think you are... the I first move, I, I, don't, I don't... I feel like well, you're you don't quite, picture I, me like that. I think you're quite shy, though. I don't know. See, I think I'm totally opposite if I know what I want. Mm. She likes putting ha her hands in people's <laughs> bum holes. Like, she knows what That's true. Wants. She ain't that shy. I feel like yeah. a lot of my ex-boyfriends have always been the first one to make the first move. Like what? As in you kiss them? Yeah, like I just, if I want it, I'm just like, yeah, fuck it, I'm getting that. I'm having it. Like, mm. I might seem like I'm not confident in certain ways. That's more probably body image than it is anything else. Sorry, more than it is anything else. But um, if I if I wanted somebody in that way, like I'd be very forward probably well, about see, it. See, that, to be honest. That's the difficult part is if you're being playful and you're, you know, you're teasing, you're like, no, I don't want it, I don't want it. Mm. But you do want it. What about those girls that tease and actually, don't want it. And then, he's like, tease. and then he's like, oh, I've had this before. I, I met this pink hair girl and she she pretended like she didn't want it and she really did. Now this girl's pretending she doesn't want it. Yeah. But she actually doesn't want it. Well, you have to actually stop. I guess. That's a guy, know, isn't it? It's, it? Everybody's different. You can never quite tell. There's no secret to it, is there? Like at the end of the day, you, you're not going to know. Do you have any know. input? I was just thinking, I'm quite, I would expect someone to put it on me and then... Mm. It's a gamble whether or not I'm going to reject you. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the thing. I feel like a lot of guys are scared of rejection these days, though. So, like, you what? kind of end up having to put it on them because otherwise they don't do it to you because they are actually generally scared. The worst thing is they just turn you down and say no. Like, you could be jokey mm -hmm. and you could be like, you could be like, you'd be like, what are you thinking about right now? She says something and they go, what are you thinking about? And then you'd be sitting there like, oh, I'm just thinking about kissing you right now. And if you ever say that to a girl, <laughs> that's the worst thing you can ever say. No, it's not because you're gauging. About kissing you. No, you're get. I, I PG'd it. Do not ever say. I PG'd it for the podcast, right? What thinking about fucking you? That's even I would worse. Not say that. <laughs> You've got a creepy photographer, yeah. No, you, you, <laughs> you need rewind. to. You need to gauge the humour. It that's all not comes funny. Down. It can be. I don't think so. Saying what? I'm thinking about fucking you. Don't look me in the eyes and say that sentence. <laughs> that was so weird. I don't know. I think, oh, what would I, what would I, what, what's like a way that you could, I don't know. Cause I, like sometimes I say, 
you sometimes you literally can't tell. Like I've I've I've, I've got with a girl before, and I was sat like thirty minutes before that I was sat with her going sat in the like in the well, bed or wherever it was with her before and going yeah this is not going anywhere like this is no point but fair enough like it's a fun day but then like all of a sudden, and then afterwards I'm like and she's like always the girls are just like way too shy to I was like, waiting for you to make a move and you're like how am I meant to make a move when you're stood there like this, mate? Like, what am I supposed to fucking do, mate? You look like you're terrified. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like, yeah, no, but it's very difficult, yeah. and then you don't want to be a creep. But um, so, w- what's like the scariest encounter that you've had with someone? So, OnlyFans or general? Just general. We'll do one general, one one OnlyFans. Uh, in general, um, so I've been through a lot of trauma in my life. There's probably a lot of stories I can tell you, but um, probably my most horrific one um, that I can remember is I was with a very controlling, narcissistic boyfriend. Um, I only spent about five months with him. Um, In this time, he literally turned me into a shell of a person. Um, He... Within the one weekend, there's a, there's a massive, massive, you know, backlog of all the things that that boy did to me. Um, but within the one weekend of actually him getting hold of my phone, it is, it's to do with sexual stuff as well, but he got hold of my phone and he found some messages to a friend from work. Um and he, he would piss me off quite a lot and I, me, being me with my big mouth, would slag him off and he found the messages oh um he he literally read out my one message to me and i do i remember this weekend so so well but he read it out to me and he picked it up and he was just like but he's got a fucking small dick anyway oh. and literally he just he read the message out and he was like well it don't matter anyway his dick's tiny or something along those lines and his face was just like the only Wait, way you I said can, that you said that. i said it to someone at work About i mean him. like it's not untrue, <laughs> but obviously it's not nice to hear, but he, he's just a horrible, horrible person, but he had like manipulated me and he was just the most, just a vile, vile person to me. Like the whole time we were together, we'd go out and I wouldn't be able to look at anybody. It would be like, look at the floor. You went looking at my friends, like go to the gym. What are you talking to him for? And I'd just be asking for a weight or something. Like it was really, really controlling. But this one weekend... Um, that's insecurity it's a massive insecurity and I would take I would take pictures and post them online and stuff obviously that's the way he'd met me I've always been the same I'd take pictures of myself like you know in in your underwear or whatever and post them look girls that's what girls do that's the girl that he ended up liking that's why he was with me so obviously you just think oh you've got the real thing and now you've got it you don't want it but then he'd take his clothes off and he'd post pictures of himself but it was okay for him to do that but not for me to do that it was like it, it was just really controlling and I can just remember like it's all these little things that I think made my mental health so bad and it's why when I'm with someone now if they just do one small thing that I'm like that's a trait of even like him or someone else I've been with I've been with a lot of people that are very similar I snap I just snap I literally can't control it but it was just it, the time as well, the time I'd been with him, he he was a drug dealer. So he'd give me drugs and he'd just be like, you will take it. He would make me take them. And there'd be an ultimatum. If I didn't take that drug, I would have to take it. Otherwise, he'd threaten me with something. So that weekend, like, he'd given me, like, drugs and literally drugged me up to the eyeballs. And then he sat with me and he read this message out to me and it, all I can describe it like is like if you've ever watched Finding Nemo you know I know it sounds really mad but you know Bruce the shark when he yeah. smells blood his face just changed and I was like fuck and I he just read it, he read it then and there he read it out to my face so he was going through your phone he was going he through my phone up. yeah literally got hold of my phone he wouldn't give me back that like literally I could tell you like the fights and stuff that we had over me trying to get my phone back was actually hilarious I grabbed like a metal spatula I was slapping him around the face with it and all sorts <laughs> it's, it's funny now but it was really bad I just because well, like, if like, I could have got a knife fighting. I probably would have had a knife like literally the arguments that me and that boy had had I have grabbed knives on him and all sorts and that's not me as a person that's what he did to me as mm-hmm. a person but he read that out to me. His face just changed. I just remember moving back and he literally just went for me, hands around my throat, pinned to the bed, 
just fucking strangling me to the point that I couldn't breathe. And then as soon as like he'd let go of me doing that, he just turned around and fucking bashed me straight in my rib, fractured my rib. So I had to go to hospital and everything. And my rib's still fucked today, like from that. Um, but he literally just, everything that I do going forward is all down to what that boy has done to me. Like he's literally just destroyed me as a person. But Literally, the best part about it is after I told him that his dick was obviously read that his dick was small, he like purchased a 13 inch dildo and was just like, Well, you're a fucking slag anyway, you want a big cock, don't you? And was just like, I'll give you a big cock. And then he literally hurt me so much with that dick, like he did. He was just like, You're fucking take it, you're a little slag. And that's just the shit he'd do to me. But obviously, like in my head, that's I get much more horrific than the things that he did to me personally. To oh Jesus God. Christ! Oh, yeah. yeah, what a horrible creature! I know he was. Um, he was actually a boxer. He was a toy. He did po- toy boxing. Toy. And the worst thing as well, like I went round to his friend's house and they all knew that he'd fractured my rib, and they were all laughing about it. And they were just like, "Oh, I'm surprised he didn't do more damage." And that, to be fair, like you're a strong lad and all this kind of stuff. Like bigging him up for hurting me. They just the all f- thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Bro, what? Where, where, where do these human beings like exist, mate? Like, what the fuck? He's definitely done that before to people. My biggest regret is definitely not going to the police and telling them the things that he'd done to me, because it would have gone on his record along with all the other girls that he's probably <laughs> abused. Horrible person. So. My God. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to go through that. Yeah, oh. I, I've, I, when, the, when, the, when I was with the girl who had BPD, we had a lot of fights with. Um, her phone, like a similar thing. She like punched me in the face and like attacked me just because I was going through her phone. But she was cheating. Yeah. Like we was like having Christmas and text messages was popping up with other guys. So, oh, that's this girl. Yeah. Oh. So I t- took the phone and um, she she had just got a boob job as well. They're literally like a week, before, like not even a week, like five days. So they were still healing, and she was like punching me. And like trying to pull the phone out of my hand and whilst they were still recovering and it was like ripping up and she was like look at what you're doing to me i'm like mate you're the one doing it i need yeah. to read this phone because i need to know what you're doing and it, it was like message message me like loads of guys i found loads of shit on there mm. um not obviously not, i'm notorious for not deleting my messages so wait so was you chatting to other i wasn't man? talking to other people this was a friend from work that i'd said this to just someone that i'm i'm still friends with so now. you were flirting with any other guys i wasn't flirting basically there was messages to old boyfriends that i hadn't deleted we'd only been seeing each other for like five that's months. fine yeah so old he'd messages. read them he I wouldn't, wasn't if i was going to go through someone's phone i would stop at where we got together mm. yeah we would go past that yeah but he's, you're just gonna piss yourself so he's not gonna do that <laughs> Yeah. He wants to see everything, but yeah, no, he, he literally, once he'd got access to my phone, that was it. Like that whole weekend just turned into like, it wasn't the, like he hit me the one day, then hit me again the second, but obviously breaking my, fracturing my rib was the worst thing that then happened. I couldn't even drive home. I was like, like a vampire trying to get up, like Jesus. I couldn't walk or anything. It's horrible. What about the scariest encounter from... Like OnlyFans or this industry? Um, I'd probably say the people that know you, finding you. I'd probably say that's probably the scariest Someone's thing. Someone's found you? Well, I think my, my problem was that when I first started it, I shared it on my personal page. So a lot of people that actually knew me knew that I was doing it. And then they've just kind of continued to follow me. So there's like a lot of guys that go to my gym and... And they just get really creepy. Like, they'll message you like, I've seen you there today. Oh, nice. <laughs> or I know what you're wearing. Or you were with that friend today. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, you do have bright pink hair. It's I know, not I know, be hard I know to, that. To... But I mean, they've obviously found me. But from they don't have person. to message you and be like, oh, I was sat next to you in the coffee Literally. shop. Earlier. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That's yeah. creepy. What, guys yeah. actually message you. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And why do don't... I need to know that? Uh, like, why do I need to know that? I don't need to know that. So, yeah, no. That's yeah, there's. I, I know people that are in this industry, and people go up to them in the street. They're like, "Oh, I watch your content. Cool story. Don't don't." <laughs> what say do you want that. me to say? Don't like, say that. Like, yeah. if you follow them and they're just like an influencer, or whatever, that's different. Mm, yeah. When it's like they they wank to your content and they're coming up it to you and they're like, there. "Oh yeah, I'm. I, I I remember watching that video one time." You, most women are going to be fucking petrified. They're not going to know what to say to that. Yeah. Don't do that. Creepy guys. What 
What is, like you were saying, so he had a really small willy mm -hmm. and he got you the too big willy. What's, <laughs> yeah. the, what's the perfect size? Uh, I'd probably say like seven to eight, maybe. Bro, this is a recurring theme. Seven is always... Seven to eight. I've got a really tight pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like it's all that meat. I'm so, I I I find some dicks more uncomfortable than others. BBC, for example, like no, just no, just don't, <laughs> just don't, just be gentle. Gen like when I do collabs, I have to warn people of certain positions because. It is painful and there's only so much pain I can tolerate and pretend it's not painful because my body literally starts sweating. Like when I take anal, I just start sweating profusely. <laughs> and it's the same with doggy. Like yeah. you're going to bend me over. Like I'm going to start sweating because I'm not enjoying Favorite it. Favourite position. But I'll do it for the camera. <laughs> I can't get over that you don't. That's the first person I've ever and met. I, I think... Up. The size of my pussy, I don't know, maybe it's just smaller than others. Who knows? But my pelvis is slightly tilted Tilt as well. Says, yeah. So it, you're like bashing against my, I say it my cervix. It doesn't open up. Yeah, like that's, properly, it, yeah. that's exactly it. And it's Tilted so pelvic floors just like makes it like, you have to go in a certain position in order to like unlock it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like really, really bad. And I, I don't enjoy, I just, I think that's some, why I don't enjoy it. Sex, like my husband, me and my husband, like we have that connection and everything's great. He knows my body inside out and out, literally great. Put me with someone that I've got to collab with. I have to have, give them like a prep talk. You don't really enjoy sex? Not, not only with my husband. Only with your husband? Yeah. No, that's quite nice. Though. Yeah. But then because you, he understands me and he, we've got that connection. Whereas if I'm just having sex with people for You learn about someone else's content, body, don't you? How can I open up, how can my pelvic floor and everything else open up and be relaxed when all I'm just thinking of, just hurry the fuck up? Wow. So on this bang bus that yep. you go on, mm. have you just been having really uncomfortable sex? <laughs> around, around the Sweaty sex. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Yeah, so Doesn't I'll tell, sound you, that great I'll tell you a story. So I went to Amsterdam and I had a collab with two German people. Do you ever not in Amsterdam? Sorry? Are you ever not in Amsterdam? <laughs> All the time, every other weekend away. So we took the bang bus to Amsterdam and we collabed with a German couple and I come on my period that morning, just before we are about to meet them. And I had no, I, I had to do this collab. I had five scenes to do. So I had to use a sponge. I don't know if you've ever heard of a sponge that you put inside you. It stops the blood coming out. Yeah, so you put a sponge. It's about, it's about this big, right? And you shove it inside you. And I then could continue with the scenes because you can't see anything, nothing comes out. How'd you get it out? Oh, I'll tell you that in oh, a second. I was going to ask. So <laughs> I'm having sex with this guy, sweaty, uncomfortable, having, and it's just bashing against this sponge, which is bashing against my cervix. Can you feel it? Yes. So it's like a Brillo pad. So like, you know, like, yeah. Oh. So it kind of like, and he knew that it was in. I did say to him, I'm on my period. Are you okay with this? He was like, yeah, no, that's cool. Girls use them in the industry. So, yeah, so he was fine. And, yeah, I took it. I, yeah, I just, yeah, we just, we just got the deed done, got the business done. Uh, everything was great. Did the content. Getting the thing out, again, because my pelvis is tilted. I'm there. My husband's driving us home because we were on the way home from Amsterdam. I'm in the back on the bed with my leg in the air, with my hand bent like this, trying to get this sponge out. Now you imagine trying to get a sponge out when your pussy's so fucking tight <laughs> and you're like trying to grip like this tiny sponge, like trying to open your fingers while being clamped. I like pulled muscles in my forearm. I spent half an hour and my whole arm was like swollen. I was crying. Mad pump. It's got to be some easy. Why, why, why didn't, why didn't was, your husband get it? Well, out? yeah. So I was scared. I was like, like I was looking for coat hangers, toothbrushes, anything to kind of like oh, bring God. it out, like a spoon maybe. But nothing was working. So my husband, we pulled over, and I'm crying. I'm in. So I'm like terrified that I'm going to have to go to the hospital and be like, could you please get this out? Um, uh, would that not have been easy to do? Maybe, but. We were like five, six hours out down oh. the road. You're only supposed to have them in for a few hours. Um, but yeah, so my husband, he's there like trying to dig it out and 
after about five minutes, he managed to do it, but it, it was the most... It was a traumatic experience. I will never, ever use a sponge again because what, what it, It's actually it really out? bad for you, isn't it? Covered in blood. Blood like, clots as well. Yeah, it was... It, Isn't that he literally was like ramming his whole hand up there and he was just like stay still and I was like oh god like no I'm like, oh my yeah. god and he that pulled was... it out and I swear he was like, like could have gagging what about like, like tweezers or something well, the, you could try and do tweezers but you can't feel where that's got you can't feel where you're putting the tweezers like it's ra it's bent round oh is it bent round yeah because my pelvis is twisted so that's not really a, a good thing to put inside you if well, there's no like string that you could just like pull no, out no 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 string and it's a Brillo pad it's basically a Brillo pad girls yeah. get something called toxic shock syndrome don't they and yeah, if that's if you have something in there too long yeah, then the so that's what bacteria and about. blood builds up so it's really so yeah I, I just wanted to make content got the content done what you do for content but it was yes it was uncomfortable was it worth it yeah because it's selling like hell the, the content that <laughs> we made the, in the bang what? bus everyone loves the bang bus like I don't know I don't know what it is like we pick them up we we like pose them as like hitchhikers um, or their cars broken down I'm like oh do you need a lift I'll jump in and and then I take them to like the service station and because they've used like my petrol they give me they haven't got any money so instead they give me other things like their dicks <laughs> so, yeah. um, why didn't you just do it with the period surely some people would have loved that you're not allowed blood not allowed to not allowed bloods mate no. oh you're it's not it's banned Plus, on OnlyFans nah it's not, it's not my banned thing banned on most things mm -hmm. I didn't know they have yeah. to use fake blood if they're going to use blood and they have to declare that it's fake yeah what yeah even like in yeah you, yeah you, no one wants to see that no, yeah, no countries no countries going to support you allowing like blood in a video. It's not it opens squirt, up doors to abuse and shit. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, you learned thank something you today. guys. Yeah. <laughs> taught me a lot. <laughs> Don't use sponges. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you guys for coming on. It's been a pleasure. No, uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've Have learned that. some, again, disturbing, <laughs> some disturbing stories. Mostly this, from me. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no way it can get worse than this. <laughs> we'll, we'll feel like we say this every time. We'll see. Yeah. yeah I'm sure you'll find some others. Comment down below who you want to see come on this podcast. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all of them things there. Check out the socials. Links are in the description. Goodbye. <laughs>